See why. New information now on the Pinellas Park shooting that left a man and woman dead and another man fighting for his life. Police now tell us this was a murder suicide. Eight on your side is Chip Osowski joining us from the Pinellas Park Police Department, where you just got an update on this case, Chip. Yeah, Keith, I just spoke with the public information officer, Sergeant John Shea. He identified the gunman as 46 year old Henry Gonzalez, the woman who was shot and killed. She was 34 years old. The man who was shot and survived, he is 29 years old. No names released on those victims. The incident happened in the parking lot of the HIT Promotions business in an industrial complex on 122nd Avenue around 5 this morning. When first responders arrived, they found a woman and a man dead. Another man was clinging to life. All three had been shot. Initially, information was very limited. It seems to be a uh, isolated incident and is not, there's no danger to anybody uh, as far as citizens or other co-workers at the area right now. We later learned the reason why. Police tell us the gunman was the female victim's ex-boyfriend and targeted her and another man she was with before turning the gun on himself. Investigators tell Eight on Your Side the woman's family wants her privacy respected so her name will likely not be released. Sadly, today's shooting comes just as Domestic Violence Awareness Month is beginning. The CEO of CASA, or Community Action Stops Abuse, tells me. People historically have thought of domestic violence as a private issue. It happens in your home. But with the case that we're seeing today, this actually happened in the workplace. And so it extended beyond the home. And we did approach a number of employees at that business, but nobody wanted to speak with us on camera. Coming up on News Channel 8 at 5, why a growing number of employees are contacting organizations like CASA with concerns about their employees. Reporting live in Pinellas Park, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.